everyone. Last week, we talked about the principles of design, and I promised to spend a little more time on proportion. Proportion has a lot to do with size relationships. For example, I asked Mrs. Fitzpatrick if I could borrow a pencil, and look what she gave me. It's like drawing with a broomstick. Sheesh. Today, we are going to talk specifically about facial proportions. It turns out there are some rules or some guidelines that we can follow to make more realistic looking faces. It doesn't matter if you know about math or fractions or how to divide an oval into four equal parts. I'm gonna give you some tips for anyone interested in learning how to make more realistic pictures. First, we're going to look at the easy way. Okay, so first we're going to do the easy way. Mrs. Fitzpatrick is going to help us out. We're just going to tape a piece of paper on top of the computer screen. And you'll see we've got our facial proportion template that tells where all the features of the face go. So our face is divided into quarters. We've got the hairline in the top quarter. We have the eyes in the middle. We have the bottom of the nose is at the three quarter mark. And of course, the mouth is in the middle of the bottom quarter. So if you pictured the face as a football field, that means the eyes are at the 50 yard line, right in the middle. And so we're just going to lightly trace this on the computer screen so that we will have kind of a grid so that we'll know where to put the features on our face. So here we go. That is the easy way. The next way that we can do it, again, this is a completely separate way, is you can just overlay a blank sheet of paper and trace the guides right through the paper. We don't have the light of the computer screen making it super easy for us, but I think we can do it. So again, we're gonna draw it. Tracing isn't always the best, but we're learning, we're students, so we can do a lot of things to help us learn. So again, once again, we're dividing the face into quarters like we did before. Uh, only this time, Miss Fitzpatrick is gonna draw me. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for a moment and we're just gonna watch how this worksheet can be a tool for our drawings so that we know where to place the features on our face. So enjoy.
Well, that was nice. I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to use your facial proportion worksheet. So you can go ahead and get a piece of paper from your art journal and try tracing over the guidelines and then go ahead and draw yourself or draw someone you love and see if it helped you to place the features on the face in a more accurate way. Happy drawing!